Hi guys, this is Arkel here, and here I am finally posting the coloring portion of this drawing. <laughs> uh, for those of you guys who watch me on DeviantArt, you'll know that I posted the finished version of this quite a while ago, um, but sorry, uh, it's taken a while to put this video up. Um, but anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for all the responses uh, to my question in one of my previous videos. Uh, I'm really sorry that I didn't reply to each one personally, uh, but I actually wanted to reply to everyone and sort of like share all the responses. Uh, I don't know, because I feel like subscribers are kind of like uh, a community in a way. And I don't know, for me at least, I think it's really cool like when YouTubers like talk to their subscribers as like a whole or as a community. So uh, I did, of course, read every comment, and uh, it was really interesting to me to me to uh, hear about the responses. Um, of course, uh, the question that I asked was about uh, how easy it is for you to branch out uh, in your art, and how often you feel you take risks and uh, try new things with it. Um, it seems like there was pretty much an even split uh, amongst you guys, and while half of you said it was really difficult to branch out, the other half said that it wasn't. Uh, it was also really interesting to see because many of you had like really similar reasons as to why uh, you did or why you don't or why you do or don't branch out. Um, and oh, I was also really uh, glad that you guys answered from different like physical or mental reasons uh, also too, why you do or don't as well. Uh, I got quite a lot of people that mentioned uh, first and foremost that they don't try new media because they really just straight up can't afford to buy new materials. And uh, that's really definitely true when it comes to branching out in, in regards to media. Uh, but uh, some of you guys also responded to the non-media specific uh, forms of taking risks and branching out and, uh, and had other reasons why uh, it's difficult for you or why you don't, uh, or why you don't do that. Um, two things that I saw a lot that kind of go hand in hand uh, were basically like the fear of failure uh, and not knowing how to do something uh, were things that I saw a lot. Uh, you know, a lot of you mentioned that it can be very unnerving to attempt something uh, that you have no clue how to do, or, you know, the fear that you might do it wrong or badly uh, will deter you from trying. You know, I can definitely relate to those, uh, those of you who said that little knowledge of how to do something makes you not want to attempt it. Uh, I'll admit that I'm a, I'm a very analytical and a cautious type of person, and I tend to want to learn as much as I can about things before I try them. So I can totally relate to this response, uh, because I know that uh, if I know nothing of what I'm doing, it totally prevents me from wanting to do it, because I'm kind of afraid that I'll look really stupid or really arrogant if I do. <laughs> Uh, but uh, there are also some reasons why you find it difficult to branch out that were really surprising to me as well that I didn't really expect. Um, some of you mentioned that uh, they don't, you just guys just don't have the will to try new things. And you know, I didn't think about it at all, but that is like so true. Like not everyone really has the desire to take risks or to branch out with their art. And they're just perfectly content with how it is. Um, and you know, also some of you said that you just love a specific media so much that uh, there's just no desire to try any others. Like, no, forget that. I don't need that. <laughs> Uh, I didn't think about that, uh, and I'm really glad that people had mentioned that because I think to a certain extent I kind of do that too. Like if I had the option between like using colored pencils or, or using oil paint, it would be like no question that I would choose colored pencils like every single time. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, but as far as uh, those of you who said that you do branch out and that it is much easier for you, uh, I also found that I could relate a lot to those uh, reasons as well. Uh, some of you mentioned that uh, college, uh, someone in particular mentioned that college is a, is a motivator to try new things, and you know, that is so true. For those of you guys who aren't in college yet, let me just tell you right now, that uh, whether it is easy for you or not, you will be required to try many different things, and not just in media, but also in regards to style as well. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you know this, but being well-rounded as an artist is extremely desirable, and uh, artists who have much, uh, you know, who have a much easier time uh, trying new things will, you know, <laughs> have a much easier time finding jobs as well. Uh, but it's very interesting to think about things on that level. Uh, you know, it's it's quite a different level. 
Uh, but aside from that, many of you guys also said that you branch out because you enjoy the challenge and the satisfaction that comes from doing something you don't expect of yourself. Uh, which, you know, that's pretty awesome in itself. Uh, many of you guys also made a good point that taking risks leads to improvement and that you do so to encourage that improvement. And that is really true, by the way. If you ever feel that you aren't improving, branching out is extremely important because it allows you to see in broader perspectives and uh, in turn can help you, like, identify the flaws in your art. Um, but another really interesting reason I didn't think of at first for branching out uh, in art was because, like, some people are looking for their own style. Uh, some of you said that you aren't so much doing it for the fun, uh, you know, to try new things, um, but because you feel like you need to in order to find a style that suits you. And I can totally relate because I think over the years I've learned a lot about myself and my style from experimentation. Uh, and you know, sometimes you just don't know if something will suit you unless you actually try it. Um, but there's actually one response in particular uh, that I could really relate to the most, and that was boredom. Uh, I'll admit I was actually really rather surprised when I saw this response from another uh, person than myself as to why they branch out or take risks in art uh, as boredom. But if you ever ask me why I do this, uh, why I take risks and stuff. It's probably, uh, I probably mentioned boredom at least once. Uh, and the reason why uh, I don't use only one medium is because uh, I just don't want to become bored of it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this here before, but I'm extremely petrified of the feeling of boredom. Uh, so I try to avoid it and to do as many new things as I can so that I never become bored. Um, I guess this is a somewhat unusual reason for mixing it up in art, but uh, I'm glad that someone mentioned that because I can really understand it a lot. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for the responses. Uh, I really enjoyed hearing what you guys have to say, and I'm super happy at the differences in perspective you guys uh, you guys all have. Um, I'll definitely ask you guys uh, more questions in the future because I'm really curious as to what you all think and. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I guess this feels a bit more personal, uh, like, you know, if I ask you that kind of stuff as well. Um, I don't know, uh, <laughs> I know a lot of you had said that you, like, have learned from me or been inspired by me, uh, but you guys definitely teach me new things and inspire me as well, so uh, thank you guys so much for that. Um, but, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I've kind of dragged this on pretty long. Uh, and, uh, thank you guys all, of course, for all the likes and the favorites. Um, <laughs> you guys are so sweet, and it really means a lot to me. Um, also, uh, you know, it's holiday season, so happy late Hanukkah or early Merry Christmas. And, I uh, hope you guys have a really great holiday. And, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you guys want to, uh, tell me like uh, something cool like that you'd love to get for a present. Or if you know what you're getting, you can tell me that too, of course. <laughs> uh, I know that I'm finally this year, for Christmas, I'm finally getting a 3DS after six long years with my old DS Lite. Oh, it's so broken up and just disgusting now. <laughs> it's so gross. Uh, but I'm so super excited. Uh, so yeah, tell me what you guys want to get or what you are getting if you know uh, in the comments below. Um, so uh, thank you guys again so much for watching and uh, bye! Hi! Christmas bye! Or something. Why am I talking like this?